Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 2.23 from Sadiku book and I have extracted the answer from the back of the book. So this is the answer. So we can see whether I did something wrong or Okay, so now we are going to solve problem 2.23. The problem is in the circuit shown in figure 2.87. Determine Px. Px is here. And the power absorbed by the 12 ohm resistor. Okay, so now maybe let's set our bottommost node here as our ground. So we'll have the voltage here is equal to zero. And then let's name this as node A. This is as node B. And this one here as node C. And let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going down, this is going to the right, this is going down, and this is going to the right, and this is going down. And maybe this one also going down. Okay, and what else we can do? Let's take a note here that Vx, Vx is equal to 5 minus Vb. A minus BB. Okay, maybe now let's start at this node here, not A. We can do KCL at not A. Let's do that. KCL at not A. KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. There is only one current that goes in, which is this from this current source and that is 20 so let's write that so we'll have 20 as the current that goes in and all the other currents is going out this current here that will be va over 2 this current here will be va minus vb divided by 1 divided by 1 yeah i think that's all for the not a and we can clear up the denominator by multiplying both sides by 2 so we will have 20 is equal to va plus 2 va minus 2 vb or that means that 3 va minus 2 vb will equal to 20 Maybe let's save this as equation number one. And now let's move on to node B. So here we can do KCL at node B. KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. And the only currents that goes in is this one. And let's write that as Va minus Vb divided by 1. And that will equal to this one here, which is Vb divided by 4 plus 3 parallel with 6. Okay, let's do that. 3 parallel with 6. And then this one will be plus... Vb minus Vc divided by 1.2. Okay, let's calculate 3 parallel with 6. 3 parallel with 6 means 3 multiplied by 6. That is 18. 18 divided by 9. So this one will equal to 18 divided by 9. That will be 2. So let's simplify all of this. So we will have Va minus Vb on the left hand side because it is divided by 1. And then this one will be Vb divided by 6. And then this one will be Vb minus Vc divided by 1.2. And to remove the denominator, I can multiply both sides by 6. So I will have 6VA minus 6VB and that will equal to this will, 6 will cancel out 
and I will have VB here plus and 1.2 and 6 will cancel into 5. So I will have 5 VB minus 5 VC. Okay. And that means that I will have 6 VA minus 12 VB. And then this minus 5 VC is moved to the left hand side. So I will have plus 5 VC. Okay, let's save this maybe as equation number 2. Okay, now let's do the last KCL. Now I need to do KCL at node C. Let's do that. KCL at node C. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. What is the current that goes in? It is comes from here. So Vb minus Vc divided by 1.2. And that will equal to this current here, which is Vc divided by 8. So let's write that. We have Vc divided by 8. And then plus this one here is Vc divided by 12. Vc divided by well, okay, maybe let's kill out the denominator by multiplying both sides by 24. Let's do the right hand side first because it is easier. So 8 and 24 will cancel into 3. So I'll have 3 VC. And then plus this one will be 2 VC. Okay, and then this one, 1 1.2 and 24 will cancel into 20, right? So I will have 20 VB. And then I will have minus 20 VC. Therefore, I will have 20 VB. And then I will have minus 20 minus 5. So I will have minus 25 VC. That will equal to 0. And we can simplify this by dividing both sides by 5. So I'll have 4 VB minus 5 VC is equal to zero okay i have three equation and three variables we should be able to solve that so let's write that as a matrix okay let's prepare the matrix we have here we write all the coefficient of this one so i'll have three minus two and zero okay three minus two and zero and for this one, I will have 6 minus 12 and 5. This should be equal to 0, right? And then for the last one, I will have 0, 4, and minus 5. Okay, and the factor of the result will be VA, VP, and VC. And then the equal vector that will be 20, 0, and 0. Okay, we'll have 20, 0, and 0. Okay, let's do calculator to solve VA, VB, and VC. Okay, let's do calculator. Okay. Press the wrong button. Okay, this is my calculator. And let's set it up as equation solver, which is number 5. We have we need 3 variables, so number 2. And let's punch in the matrix. So we'll have 3, minus 2, 0, and then 20. And I will have 6, minus 12. And then 5, and then 0, and then 0, 4, minus 5, and 0. So the x is the value of the a, which is 40 over 3. Yeah, let's just write that 40 over 3 fold. And then pb will be 10, so we have 10. 
and phi c will be a so a so we have phi a phi b and phi c but the question does not ask about phi a phi b and phi c but it's asked about phi x so what is phi x phi x is phi a minus phi b okay phi x will be phi a minus phi b and that will be That will be 40 divided by 3 minus 10. So I'll have 3.33. So that will be Vx. This is the value of Vx. And then... What is the value of the power absorbed by 20, 12 ohm resistor? Okay, so I'll have the power here. We know Vc, right? So I will have the power will equal to Vc squared divided by the resistance. The resistance will be 12. So Vc is 8, so I'll have 8 squared divided by well, that will be 64 divided by 2. And I will have P. What is P? P will be 64. 64 divided by 12. And that will be 5.33. 5.33. Okay, this is the final answer. So here the unit will be full. I don't know why the answer is different, but yeah. In general, the steps is like here. Maybe I did some miscalculation. Let me know in the comments where did I get my miscalculation. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.